What is going on guys, DBG here, and this is going to be the first episode of a new series. And this is going to be, I'm gonna call it, I don't even know what to call the series, so I'm gonna just call it Pax to Glory for now. And if you guys have any other better names, leave it in the comments, because I may just completely change the name of this series. But basically how it's gonna work is, right now I've got no players at all. So, basically how it's gonna work is, the only players I can use in the squad are players I pick up in packs. So at the start of every episode, I'm going to do it whenever there's new packs coming out. So it's going to be kind of like a pack opening slash, well, squad, squad series. Where it's only players that I can use from packs and I can't use the auction house at all. So basically how it's going to work, obviously today I'm going to open 20 packs of the new Anthony Davis packs. So I'm going to open 20 of them. And then from then on, obviously uh, 20, 12, sorry, 13 of 20 cards that I pack are going to be in this squad. And then from then on, it is going to be 10 packs per episode. So say for example, if a moment's James Harden comes out tomorrow and it ends up being Galaxy Opal or Pink Diamond, I might open some moments packs and try to get that card, I might open 10 of them, but I can only use cards that I pack in the squad. And also like, for example, if I end up packing some a lot of really bad cards, I can replace them or I can keep them. So if I pack say, 10 rubies this pack opening and I only pack 10 emeralds and x one obviously I don't have to switch it So I can only add players into the squads that I pack pretty much. So anyway, yeah That's uh, how it's gonna work now. Let's get on to the pack opening So we are going to be opening 20th anniversary Anthony Davis packs Hopefully we can get something good. All right, Allen will be nice and Anthony Davis will be unbelievable But let's see Okay, pack number one we get clay Thompson which is actually really, really good because um, for even though obviously for a squad like this doesn't seem like it's the best, but for a pack opening squad, Clay Thompson is very, very solid. Okay, we're on to pack number two. And we get Julius Randle, not the best. Pack number three, we picked up Jimmy Butler. Again, a really, really nice pickup. Like, it does not seem like it. Again, because rubies aren't the best in the game, but for a pack, for a pack and play squad, it's not bad at all. If we can keep getting rubies in every pack, I'm delighted. One or two amethysts and I'm good. Okay, we got Dominique. That's not too bad. And we also got Kyle Anderson, which is not the worst player in the world. But again, could probably do a little bit better. Okay, we are on pack number five. Sapphire, Al Horford. Uh, not great. I don't really like Al Horford, so this isn't the best pull, I guess. Pack number six, Emerald by the looks of it. Zach Levine. Not the best. Okay, Sapphire. Simmons is... Well, he would have been alright had this been uh start of the year. But not ideal. Not ideal at all. That's seven packs down. Let's go on pack number eight now. Where we pick up another Julius Randle. Pack number nine. Come on, just give us an Amethyst at least. Diamond Ray Allen would be nice. Nope, not an Alex Len. That is not what I want. And we got a Duplique. Great. So, duplicate for pack number 10. So far through 10 packs, we don't really have much of a squad at all. We got Kevin Love. That's... Not a great pack, but again, not awful. Let's go, come on, come on. We got nine more packs to go. And we start off with, or we got Evans and Ingram, not the worst. You know, my attitude's changed where I'm now kind of like half excited about some Emerald cards. As we get Montrez Harrell. I love Montrez Harrell in real life. Yeah, but 2k as a gold card, not so much. We got number 13 here. Ruby, thank God. That's a dupe Neek. No. Alright, Joel Embiid. 
that is not a bad pull for the 14th pack. Come on, we gotta, we gotta clutch these out the last six here. And that's clutch. That is clutch. Chris Taps. Let's go. We got five more. Emeralds. Great. Tobias Harris. Give me something big. Give me a Ray Allen. Give me an Anthony Davis. Nothing. We got Robin Lopez. That is not good for pack number 17. Let's go. We got to be clutch. We just got to be clutch here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Three more packs. Oh, give me something good. Give me something good. Ruby, not the worst thing in the world. Buggy. That's okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Two more. Two more. Give me something good. We've got a lot of centers. That's an amethyst, is it? I'd be kind of happy if it's Buggy, but again, or it's Mike D'Antoni. Okay, at least it means I can use him as the coach. We got Malcolm Brogdon, though, in pack number... Uh... 19 okay so one more pack to go we've got nothing above a ruby net as of right now okay last pack last pack last pack let's be clutch come on come on come on give me something good give me something good ruby don't be a dupe don't be a dupe it's a dupe oh no oh that's really frustrating so guys this was the team i came up with really really not great but uh for episode number one it's not too bad so for example like we're gonna be opening 10 more packs the next episode so if we pull anything half decent it's gonna be replacing guys in the squad not a great haul for 20 packs but not the worst and hopefully it sets us up for later on in the series and i forgot that i've got a dynamic duo there of Embiid and simmons might as well use them on the bench or actually you know might as well start them because boogie's better offensive player I'm going to start Embiid and Simmons. I'm going to use Boogie as like my main man off the bench. So yeah, hopefully. Hopefully we can do something okay. And Mike D'Antoni obviously has coached since we pulled him. But yeah. Hopefully we can at least be competitive with this team. Alright, so we're playing against... Okay, not the best team. Hopefully we're okay. Alright, so we're using the worst team. So we got to be very selective with the things we do. We can't just jack shots like we do when we're using a much better team. We gotta just play this game a lot more slowly, a lot more. Oh, we just gotta play it differently. Because when you're using even budget squads that are really good nowadays, you can kind of just you can just abuse teams with the fact that everyone shoot the ball. But you gotta be kind of more kind of death by a thousand cuts tactic. No point taking bad shots with a squad like this because you take bad shots, you're not gonna score them. Good job, Dominique. Good layup. Dominique for th or Joel and B for three. Can't hit it. Straight to Clay in the corner, bad release. Clay can't hit it. Dominique right back to Clay again. Green light. There we go. Clay is like our one. Actually, no, we've got two and a half shooters. Clay and Porzingis is a shooter, and with the duo, and beats okay. Straight to Ben Simmons. Easy layup. Good job. Back off, back off. You can't shoot threes. Don't let him shoot mids, though. One of the best mid range shooters in the game, one of the worst three point shooters in the game. That's a terrible shot. Can live with it. I can live with it. If it goes in, it goes in. That's a bad shot. Sometimes you just can't stop the offensive player. And basketball's not about literally stopping them. It's about just forcing them to take as many bad shots as possible. Good shot, Porzingis. Right back at them. Good job. Forcing the midi. Paul George can't shoot midis. But he can dunk. That was bad by me. Okay, we got in good position. Three, two, got it. Two right back at them. Six point lead at the end of the first. Yeah. He looks like he's actually going to start taking shots at Westbrook, which is probably good for me. For White Clay, Thompson knocks down the three to make it a nine point game. Clay in the corner for three. Green light. Let's go. Let's go. Clay Thompson is carrying our team right now. It's a 10 point game. Oh my god. So apparently I lost that game as well. Great. Thank God that that wasn't in my run for a for going for what's his name. Um, trying to think who the player even was. He came Elijah one. Thank God it wasn't. Thank God, God, I already have him because that is just frustrating. But um, yeah. So in the end, it's the team we uh, made. I don't mind it. I don't think it's that bad. 
Like, while obviously he's not getting a beat with God Squads, I honestly don't think it's the worst thing, team I could have came out with. I honestly think there could have I could have had much, much worse pack luck. Because Clay Thompson's a beast, Chris Tapp's a beast. Uh, and Bede's okay, we got the duo with Simmons. And Demarcus Cousins is a beast. Tyree Gavins is a beast for an Emerald. And I honestly think I could have gotten much worse pack luck than I did. I don't think this squad is the worst I can use. So, um, yeah, that is the video. Leave it in the comments if you guys want me to keep doing uh, videos like this. If you guys want me to... Because I don't like just doing pack openings for the sake of doing pack openings. I kind of want to do something with them. And I think this kind of pack opening squad is something that could work quite well. And I also want you guys to... Um, Basically, uh, just tell me what you want me to call this. I've got to call Pax to Glory now, but I don't really, not the biggest fan of that name. But if if you guys are okay with it, I'm going to stick with it. But uh, yeah, this is basically a new series I'm running on the channel. Hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to uh, keep it going. And by the end of the year, we have quite a decent squad from just packs. And we also hopefully pack a few decent players. And players better than the Neek that we pulled and Clay that we pulled this time. So anyway, yeah, that is the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.